South Korea's Air Force scramble of stealth fighters after an unusually large number of North Korean warplanes were in the air for hours. The regime appears to have carried out such acts in protest of Seoul and Washington's decision to extend large-scale combined aerial drills. Pei eun starts us off. South Korea's military said Friday that it detected around 180 tracks of North Korean warplanes for about four hours. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., the North's warplanes were seen flying in various areas inland and along the regime's eastern and western coasts. Although they were flying in the North's territory, what was unusual was how many jets were dispatched. In response, South Korea's Air Force also had about 80 of its own F-35A fighters in the air to make sure the North's warplanes didn't cross the border. Seoul's JCS explained that 240 warplanes involved in the aerial military drills with the U.S. are still separately conducting exercises as planned and are maintaining strong readiness. The North's latest activities appeared to be a protest against the decision made by South Korea and the U.S. the day before to extend the aerial drills that have been taking place since Monday because of the regime's continued provocations. The vigil and storm exercise has been extended by a day and will continue until Saturday. A senior military official from North Korea had warned in a statement that the decision to extend was an enormous mistake that would spark an uncontrollable phase. This also comes less than a day after the North fired yet more missiles and artillery rounds on Thursday night. At around 9.30 p.m. on Thursday, North Korea fired three short-range ballistic missiles toward waters off its east coast. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missiles flew 490 kilometers at a speed of Mach 6. The military condemned the North and urged it to immediately halt its provocations, saying they pose a serious threat to the peace and security of the Korean Peninsula, as well as the international community. But the North didn't stop there, as it fired about 80 artillery rounds two hours later, again toward the East Sea. Seoul's military said the shells landed in the maritime buffer zones, set to ease military tensions by an inter-Korean agreement signed in 2018. Amid heightening tensions starting next Monday, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff plans to hold this year's Taegook exercise aimed at enhancing operational capability to counter North Korea's various nuclear and missile threats. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.